Ready to check my ketones this morning to see where they they are before I start my day. And I figure, I mean, come on, we adults. This is not really too TMI like I thought it would be. So let me dip the stick and I'll be right back. Let me get one. Show you me dipping it. I can do that with one hand. Actually, I can do all of it with one hand, can I? Yes, I can. So I dipped it. It says do that and then let it sit for oops let me get the rest of it a couple seconds and then let's see where it is I feel like I'm on the last one or like in the middle because it's darker than that one. Still got a couple seconds, but because they say let it sit 60 seconds. I'm trying to do it all on camera. I don't know if I'm supposed to wave it, y'all. I'm just doing something. What is in my finger now? That is really weird. Oh, that ink. Because that irritates the mess out of me. Alright. Bam! Yes, even with me eating my sugar-free candy, it hasn't took me out of ketosis. So, all right, guys, this is um, day four. You've seen that I am in ketosis, the darkest color, um, and uh, I feel great. I feel great, but today I felt really, really tired, even early, early this morning. I'm like, wow, I feel so tired. Not in a draining way, just feel like I need to relax and lay down. It's crazy because it start raining later and I'm like, wow, my body is in tune to the atmosphere, you know, because usually rain makes you, it's like a natural, um, what is it called? It makes you want to sleep, basically makes you want to rest and relax. So I'm happy about that. I found another detox symptom. Um, now my face was doing so good and all of a sudden it's like, boop, 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 bumps are like popping up all over the place. Um, and um, that is actually a detox system. So if you're going through a detox symptom, not system, detox symptoms. So if you're going to um, see your face breaking out and stuff like that, don't worry about it. It happens. It happens. Um, some people get headaches. Some people get dizziness. Some people get diarrhea. Some people get um, uh, the really yucky mouth which is a way of toxins coming out your body so think of that as something good um I'm, I'm i'm proud of myself that's all i can say is i'm proud of myself we go every day wanting food or eating food to survive um but when you really do your research to understand fasting is so much of a healing thing with your mental clarity with your body things that could have been occurring that you don't know you're healing in the inside um, I'm just noticing a lot of little things that I really didn't pay too much of. I'm noticing my nail beds are getting stronger. And y'all know I always had a problem with my thumbs. My thumbs would split and crack. And they just seem to be stronger. I'm pressing down on them. And they just seem to be stronger than normal, which is a good thing. So, it's just a lot of little things that you probably wouldn't pay attention to. Or wouldn't think of during the fast that's happening. Now look at my ring. Y'all see that? Y'all see that space? In my ring and I want to take a picture of this do y'all see the space in my wedding y'all see that like wow now for those who may be new um, but were were drawn to my videos by my fasting um, I've been on an actual journey a weight loss journey and it's confessions of a fed up obese woman because I was basically 300 pounds and I've been on a weight loss journey trying to get myself back in the swing of things and I talk about a hump there's a hump in a certain weight I would like to see um, in a certain way I would like to feel that helps me to stay motivated not to indulge on things that are really unhealthy for me so um I need to get over that specific hump and once I get there it's kind of easy and smooth sailing um my daughter challenged me as y'all know y'all would have seen another video too 
seven days instead of three. So it was supposed to be a total of six days. Three days OMAD fruit only and water and three days specifically water. And I decided to go further and um, I took on a challenge. So the 22nd of May should be my last day. So yeah. Um, and we shall see how much weight I lose in these four days. So this is day four. We got five, six, seven. In these four days, I want to see how much I lose. I'm at 260.4 as of um, this morning, which was results from yesterday. So I'm just going to relax. Um, I will be headed back to the gym on um, early in the morning. So that will probably be a part of this video. Would it be a part of this video? Or would it be a part of tomorrow's video? Because I go at four, like three. I get up at three, and I'm there by like three forty-five. Um, I don't know. You shall see it. But I will be headed back to the gym. The gym makes me feel good. I definitely don't want to lose the weight and start getting saggy. I still want to look toned. I still want to look, um, you know, tight and look appealing to me. I want to see a certain look for me. So I'm excited about going to the gym. Um, tonight slash early in the morning because it's still nighttime and everybody's like in the bed so i'm excited guys i'm excited i ordered some tongue scrapers off of amazon i seen a guy who's fasting on youtube and he said these are some great tongue scrapers and the reviews on amazon were amazing it was like you get three of them for 488 i was gonna get a metal one from ebay but it was a dollar 70 something but it would not get here until like june 6 to july something i'm like nah i'm gonna pay less well actually i'm paying less because i'm getting three a pack of three for 48 so yeah i just wanted to jump on but i'm just relaxing i'm letting my body heal and do its thing today i am bloated i don't know why um they say sometimes that is a detox effect where you may get gassy so i am that is the thing that i am having if that's one of my detox um effects and one of my symptoms i'll take it over dizziness and headaches um fingers crossed um because they say usually you start feeling it at like day four or five you'll feel whatever symptoms but i tend to um i tend to have gas and which is really weird um so i've been releasing gas and my stomach actually is bloated i tried something on that i normally try on just to see my progress and it was tighter than it was yesterday and i'm like oh i don't like this no but it's all good i know it'll go away all right so let me just continue on in this day four. I'm about to take a couple sips of my water and then lay it back down. All right. It's gotten ridiculously hot. And, um, yeah. So, my husband went to get me some different sugar-free candy. And I'm trying these Werther's. They are so much more tinier than the other ones. I'm trying Werther's. And I'm trying, um, let me show them the lemon candies from Dollar Tree. It's crazy because that bag I showed y'all yesterday, I still have some, but I um, let Rizzy try, let them try some. Um, it The lemon one actually was my favorite out of all of them next to the watermelon, which was crazy because I did I never like lemon, orange, or lime candy. I'm just not, I, I'm more of a raspberry, blackberry, cherry, you know, those type of apple. So, hold on, let me get this bag. So, these are those sugar-free Werther's. And I don't know if it's my taste buds, but they don't taste different. I don't taste that Splenda or that aftertaste. And then these are the lemon ones that I have. These are so good. So I literally had to tie the bag up because I'm doing the most. I think I ate like two of these, two of these, right? And I ate, no, I only ate one Werther's and two of these. And I have one Werther's in my hand because I gave Rizzy the bag. She's going to take the bag away because I don't want to overdo it on these. I discovered today a lot of people... Um, do fast different. This one guy said he still drank coffee with creamer, um, flavored drinks, and uh, diet sodas and all that. And he's dropping weight. So, you know, it's extreme. I'm doing it to get to a certain weight and to heal certain things in my body. But my problem is sweets. So I felt like I'm overdoing it even with those. Like maybe a couple a day, maybe four, six tops a day. But I don't want to be overdoing it, so I have to give them to my family. But I've still been releasing the gas and burping, and my stomach is starting to feel better. So, yeah, that's basically it. I'm not doing nothing else, but more. look, 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 look. Y'all see it? Watching mukbangs. 
watching my kids eat. Like, I literally got them coming in here eating so I can watch them eat every bite that they eat. Rizzy done had pickles. She eating the honey barbecue chips. Um, what else you had? Some snaps. Naya came and ate yogurt and granola. I just want to watch them eat. I can't wait for they eat, them to eat dinner. I want them to eat. I want to see them eat. I don't know. It may sound crazy to you. It may sound like it's major tempting, but it actually makes me feel like I'm eating it too. I don't know. It's weird. All right, guys. So this is basically going to be the, probably it. And if something, unless something different happens between now that I need to share with y'all about the fast, I will be um, just putting the end of the video. Um, what my weigh-in is going to be for the results of day five. I mean, day four. So oh, guys, um, let me pause it. I just thought I had to pass gas, and it's so crazy because I was looking up being gassy during a um fast water fast and i came across a couple videos about having instant boo boo the d one um on the fourth day and i'm like oh well i just got gas no big deal so i'm sitting here with arisma and we're watching a huge crab king crab the hugest one that you ever seen on youtube mukbang and they're eating crab legs and alfredo sauce well she is the chinese girl and I thought I had gas. And it was a, uh, if you ever heard of it, this is TMI, but like a shirt. Yeah. So I had to run to the bathroom. It wasn't a whole bunch, but it was a little something. But it was weird, because I'm not eating anything. And people who are doing strict water, like regular water, no flavor, no nothing, have had this happen as well. And this one guy said he had issues with tonsil stones, and they would come out, like a lot of them came out during his fasting like just different things that happen to you and you'll feel different things but I kept saying I'm bloated and I told y'all earlier that I tried on something and it was literally bigger than it was yesterday I knew what I was talking about I was bloated and my stomach had some things going on because it was aching and doing some weird stuff which I think I said in the video yesterday but yeah oh my gosh yeah I'm making mental notes of all the things that surprise me or that I do that I'm not happy with and stuff that I'm sharing on here but I also was going to share when I just talk about um, water fasting a video on just water fasting um, after my journey with just the water fast part of it but yeah my exercise journey will definitely continue even when I decide to finish the water fasting but yeah I'm just like I really had to go to the bathroom and that was really weird I hope this fan isn't too loud it's hot y'all all right, just wanted to come tell you that. All right, guys, just a recap of what day three results were. Yes, we need to see those again before we show you what day four results are coming up. Dun, 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 dun. Here go the results. How many pounds down? Two more pounds down. Two more pounds down from yesterday. Two more pounds down. Boom, boom. Put the date here. If I can find my pen. Oh, put the date, which is 5-20-19. So 35 pounds down. Alright guys. It's pushing, it's pushing. I'd come back. Because from the 13th to the 20th, which is a week. I have lost 18 pounds in one week. This fasting has boosted my weight loss tremendously. So that's why I'm so motivated to continue and share that with you and let you guys know when I'm going to stop and all that good stuff. But 18 pounds in one freaking week. Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh my gosh. I hope this inspires someone and motivates someone to get going. And I'm telling you, do this chart because I look at this every day when I'm in my room and it makes me feel like I see what happened. Those are all pounds that are gone off my body. Still got a ways to go, but I can see it. And you know, fat is yellow, so boom, that's fat, gone, fat, gone, fat, gone. Awesome. Just a quick chart that I made with a pen and some computer paper and that's it. Nothing special. All right, y'all.